Hello everyone and welcome back. This is MD Anderson recording again from the Motorhome Studios. Uh, last week I went over a lot of the quotes of Leonardo da Vinci. I hope you enjoyed those. I hope you found inspiration, motivation, uh, a desire to go out and be a better person thanks to not just the art of Leonardo da Vinci but also his thoughts and his comments. Last week I also went over the LMMS software mentioning I was doing that. I hope you enjoyed the beginning of this vlog with that extra upbeat music that I created personally. Every little sound, squelch, uh, change of vibration, I did those on the LMMS software. Uh, it's taken me more time to figure out how to work the software, but now that I'm getting the hang of it, I'm actually able to put uh, stuff together really quickly. So I'm hoping that for my All-Star Squad that I will be able to have something intriguing uh, upbeat, something that makes you feel it. This week, I'm still on uh, Leonardo da Vinci. However, it is more along the lines of a few inventions that he had done. First off is the ball bearing. He did invent the ball bearings, and according to my rendition of the Dragon Bell series, he invented them more for an illustration to show how two opposing forces are able to work together and not um, collide with each other. And by doing that, he inserted these ball bearings in between the two forces. Here I have an animation of how ball bearings work. There's the inner circle and the outer circle with the balls that rotate in the middle. According to Leonardo da Vinci, he used the exterior circle as the description for the dragons, wanting to hold one way while mankind was in the middle trying to go a different direction. So we needed something in the middle that reduced the friction and that would have been the ball bearings, which she said was the shaman organization. But with the ball bearings in the middle, that allows both forces of motion to go freely in their direction without the friction that is normally involved when two things rub together. And so this gives you a little bit of an idea of why the ball bearings came about and how come they are so important in our daily lives. Last week I also mentioned how I love airplanes, which here is a design that Leonardo da Vinci did which is very similar to a dragon's wing. Many years later, mankind decided, hey, we're going to take Leonardo da Vinci's design and we're going to work on it, we're going to improve it, we are going to make it work, because if we see these uh, birds flying around today, I know we can pull ourselves in the air. Uh, and through the progression of mankind, yes, we did do that, which is obvious. It's hard to go somewhere and not see an airplane. So here's some video of early attempts of mankind trying to fly. This is silent footage uh, I acquired off YouTube. Uh, you can see we have airplanes that tried flapping their wings, tried rotational wings. Uh, they didn't have very good structural uh, put together. And here we have a set of wings that goes up and down with somebody in the little flight deck. Uh, they got the general idea following the, the way of birds. Uh, by the way, I love to sit back and watch people. Uh, there's nothing more fun to laugh at than others. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci did uh, work on the helicopter design, so here's a few. Uh, the guy almost gets his head chopped off. This one just bounces around the great. Uh, would have made a great massage. Uh, here's one of the first early catapult designs. Uh, on this one, they just had way too much thrust at the beginning and it threw it uh, more vertical, lost its uh, lift. Uh, here's a crazy guy. I don't know why he doesn't even have wings. But like I said, best thing to make fun of is people. And uh, when we're stupid, we do things like fry our rear end off. Yeah, let's do some ice skates there. Uh, this one was pretty darn close to going somewhere, had a little bit of control. Uh, there's a more modern one where it goes up, but uh, lost lift, lost its uh, angle of attack, but they didn't know that back then. Now here's one that used a weight. There goes the Wright Brothers right there, the first flight into history. Here is the Viper aircraft. It's a promotional video made by them to show how much we have improved using uh, closed canopies, uh, cool design, uh, turbine, uh, which also is nothing but a big ball bearing turning a fan.
and I will let you listen to this one as they have done a very good job of putting this video together. Showing uh, aerial liftoff, very controlled flight, uh, flight gear that retracts. I love these close-up cockpit shots where they have going in there. The inside of the cockpit, what it looks like as you do a barrel roll inside an airplane, that just looks so exciting to me. Uh, out the wing tip, showing the ground, the sky, back to the clouds being level. Streaking across the sky at low altitudes. And flat gear coming back down, making its final approach and touchdown with the sunset in the background. That's just very beautiful. I'm fascinated with this company. I would love to fly one of these someday. And here it comes in on uh, the left, the runway, uh, showing the frontal approach. And I decided to keep this in there, give some credit to ViperAircraft.com. So if you are interested in this aircraft as well, uh, feel free to you know, look them up. So here are a few of the things that Leonardo da Vinci did uh, create that have affected our lives to today. Uh, it's very interesting. Like I said, this is just one of many. So over the next few weeks, I may do a few more Leonardo da Vinci inventions, how they have helped us in today's society, and how they've been improved on. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And again, I hope you have another great week.